Hi, my name is Bridget Clest, and I am an associate professor of psychology at the University of Regina. My research interests and expertise are related to a few different topics. One is interpersonal trauma, particularly betrayal trauma. Betrayal trauma occurs when a victim and perpetrator have a relationship and the victim is dependent on the perpetrator in some way. And I'm also interested in the topic of institutional betrayal, which is similar to betrayal trauma, um, except that instead of a relationship between an in two individuals, it's a relationship between an individual and an institution. When someone experiences in an adverse or traumatic event, um, the, the way that an institution that they are a part of responds to the event can, can impact their mental health. So for example, um, how a healthcare institution responds to an adverse medical event or how a university responds to um, a sexual assault experienced by one of their students. I'm also interested in healthcare and in particular how healthcare relates to uh, ex prior experiences of trauma and how people who have a history of trauma might experience healthcare. Um, so prior research projects have um, included things like trauma-informed care and uh, how and a person's trust in the medical system. And I'm also interested in how institutional betrayal relates to healthcare. So when people experience institutional betrayal within a healthcare setting. And then finally, I'm interested in and study um, the uh, discrimination and how it relates to institutional betrayal. So in particular, how <clears throat> institutions and representatives of those institutions might respond in the face um, when someone uh, has experienced discrimination. So also, I just want uh, to say that honor students in my lab do quantitative research projects um, as opposed to qualitative research projects. And that I like to co-develop research projects with the students. So projects based on students' interests um, and my own expertise and my own competence to supervise a particular project. So students don't need to come in with an idea of a project, but students um, can come in with an idea of what their interests are, and then we could work together to kind of co-develop a project that includes those interests and my um, expertise. And then the last thing is I don't like students to deal with a time crunch. So I like to start conversations in the spring and summer and then work with the student to develop a timeline um, that will work for them with their own schedule um, in order to not be in a, in a procrastination situation or rushing at the end. So thank you.